My name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Docker tutorial series part 15. Let's quickly do the recap what we had covered in the previous video. In the previous video we saw, we understood basically the advantage of using a volume top of the wind mount, right? And the topic I choose for today's video is uh, uses of, you know, few, uh, few interesting command of Docker like commit, save and load. Right, so let's quickly do that. Uh, let's quickly jump into the demo to see the uses of these three commands, right? So for that, what I'm going to do is let me just get inside. Okay, so if I just put Docker help, okay, and if I just read the content, the description for commit is create a new image from a container changes, right? So in container changes, basically I put in a two categories. The one category is where you know the container, you know, persist data. Uh, either on a volume or on a bind mount which is on local machine and the another thing is inside the container if you are installing any application you know you are running some command and you are changing some kind of environment variable and all those stuff right so the docker commit command basically used for creating a new image out of running container right with the state in which that container is but the limitation is it does not persist the data which is there on a volume as well as on you know the bind mount which is on a local which is a directory on a local machine right so to just understand this behavior let me just this d drive data inside that we have bunch of files in a folder that i'm just gonna mount to the data folder inside the container then i'm just gonna give the name of this container is commit demo and i'm gonna run this alpine in a switch in interactive mode ls minus ltr okay so let me just run this jq which is one of the json module which is not yet there so let me just add this jq i'm just intentionally doing that so that once it gets installed then we want to create the image of this running yeah. container and then we're gonna see the image which we are going to create with this running container whether the new image when we will run that image whether we will have this jq install in it or not so that would be that way we can understand the feature of this commit right so this is now installed right so if i cmd so if i just see the docker ps so now this particular container is running so the uses of docker commit is docker commit then it requires a container name you can put you can always put that as help to understand you know the options which that particular command is providing so these are the options which we have uh, the only one which i have used so far is minus c but i'm not going to cover this in today's video definitely in the next video i will try to cover uh, so for now just from the understanding of this commit docker commit then it requires a container name and the container name is in our case is commit demo okay and then you have to give the new image name so let me just put new image with container and let me just put one okay uh, so if i'll just put docker images okay so we should have that name new image with container and few seconds before it gets created okay so now let's see whether the module we have installed in this container whether it's there or not so i'm just gonna mode and let me just pull the image id of this particular image which we had created put it over here and then let me just get inside the container and uh, let's see whether we are getting this gq help yes it's there so i believe now you got it that what i was referring to right uh, so now uh, the new image is pres preserving the running container state right so the another thing which i wanted to explain you the limitation about this so here this was the running container right uh, out of which we had created a new image let me just get inside the cd ls minus ltr we have bunch of files and this one is the new container uh, created from the new image uh, let's see whether we have data folder yeah we do have but cd data ls minus ltr but there is no data so that is what i was referring about the limitation of commit that does not preserve you know the mount data or the containers data out of which you are creating this image right so this is for the commit uh, now the next thing which i wanted to cover uh, docker ps okay uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna remove this image 
image and before removing this image what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna let me see uh, let me just explain you what save does for us save one if you save one or more images to the tar file right so we can create a tar file out of images and that actually help us in case if we just remove the images then we through this tar file we can always restore that image right so docker save you can use this help command and we have one option which says that write to file instead of a standard out right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create docker save okay then i'm gonna give O option and then the tar file name and the tar file name I can give new image commit demo dot tar out of which image I want to create this uh, I want to create this tar file for this okay so I'll just give this so if I just put dir here you can see the star file is getting created right now to just prove whether this whether we can just restore the image again or not so let me just remove that image okay so removing that image name the command i'm going to use docker rmi okay no such image why ah because i have use the image id uh, to remove that i have to use the image name along with the tag so it is being used by one container so we need to first clean that container so that it will free that image right so i'm just gonna step that container first then i have to remove it okay and if i'll just try to remove image now this will be removed okay so we don't have that image now no longer right so now uh, we have a tar file for that particular image now that image got deleted by somehow and we want to restore that and that is where the load command becomes handy and that is where we use the load command right so if i just put the docker help again uh, if i just go to the load load an image from a tar file right so if i just put tar load command I have only minus i and a q minus i is pretty much same as the functioning of minus o where it it's route of instead of a standard out here it's route <coughs> instead of standard in so what I'm gonna do is docker load minus i then I have to give the tar file name whatever the tile tar file we have created right so what it's gonna do for us is it's gonna restore that image for us okay so if i just put the docker images see we got that docker image again so if uh, let's quickly verify it by running the container and let me just get inside the message uh, this minus ltr not needed but jq minus help will yeah so that is what the use of load so commit is basically to just store the container state but not to persist not for a persistence data then we have a save we can create the tar file out of any image right and the load help us to restore the deleted image if we have a corresponding tar file so these are the uses of commit save and unload and in real time i didn't use uh, very oftenly these command but these seems to be very interesting and good for the beginners right so that's it from my side for this particular video. If you have any feedback or suggestion, please feel free to put that in a comment section. And as always, stay healthy and keep learning a new stuff. Thanks very, thank you very much.